Hi everyone, it's Matt Corcoran, back again in this beautiful office, as you can see, the decoration, all my own. Back again for another edition of What's in My Insurance Policy. And today, we're going to talk about Directors and Officers Insurance, better known as DNO Insurance. Now, DNO Insurance is important because you as a company have probably agreed to indemnify your, your directors and officers when they're held personally liable. And when you do that, the DNO policy should respond. The DNO policy is broken down into three parts, side A, side B, and side C. So side A coverage is for non-indemnifiable claims. So think claims that you can't, indemn you, you can't reimburse your director's officers for. So the insurance company will do that directly, typically with no deductible. So you go bankrupt, your DNOs are left high and dry, the side A coverage can respond there. Side B coverage is when you indemnify is when you can indemnify your, your directors and officers, and you do, the, re, the insurance company then reimburses you. And then site C coverage is known as entity coverage. So when your directors and officers are, are named in a suit or claim, and the entity is as well, site C coverage will respond. So site B and C are, are known as balance sheet protection because they'll reimburse you as a company and protect your balance sheet they are subject to a deductible or actually correct terminology would be a retention. So Dino insurance, very tricky. I'm not going into the details here. That'll be for a later episode. But just remember there's three parts to it. Side A, no deductible, reimburses your your DNOs directly. B and C, deductible slash retention, and that's protecting your balance sheet. Like I said, we'll talk about DNO you know insurance as we go on. There's a lot to talk about, um, but for now, this is a great starting point. Hope everyone has a great week, great Monday. We'll be back on Wednesday with another episode. See ya.